Well, as the state continues to deal with hepatitis A, Greene County is taking extra steps to educate businesses and restaurants on prevention. They've seen 23 cases in the county, but are keeping a close eye on nearby counties that are handling many more. Tunis reporter Deborah Bogart getting answers on their response so far. Here in Greene County, they have had one instance of a food operations employee being diagnosed with hepatitis A this year, but say there was little to no risk to other employees or customers, and they are taking steps like handing out these flyers to educate everyone in the public. Jeff Webb heads up Greene County Public Health's Environmental Division, which oversees food operation inspections. He says it's not a state requirement for employees to be vaccinated, but some companies do require it. Public Health's mission is to educate restaurants of signs and symptoms of hepatitis A and proper course of action. If the person in charge or manager is aware of it, then it's their responsibility to notify us and then also to exclude uh, that person uh, from food handling. In the instance of the food employee's diagnosis, they say they thoroughly investigate the matter and are providing more information to restaurants during this outbreak. In that investigation, we spent a lot of time. And we thought we might have to vaccinate, but in the end, we did not because we, uh, we, the facts showed us that there was not a very high risk of transmission. She says they are also being more vocal about vaccines throughout the community because the more vaccinated, the better, using the term herd immunity. Is it related to being exposed this time around? No, but it's going to protect you if you're exposed in the future. Schmidt says they are hosting information sessions with the Environmental Division to show signs and symptoms of hepatitis A, along with other groups in the community. And they say if you have any questions or want to learn more, contact Greene County Public Health. Reporting in Greene County, Deborah Bogart, 5 on 2.